liver damage. Can it actually be helped or reversed through diet? Obviously, we know liver damage can be caused by diet, but diet actually be also be part of the solution. And we're talking liver damage, we're talking such things as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, uh, and also, of course, fibrosis. Well, researchers have discovered, yes, it can, but it's not easy. But let's review the research first and then draw conclusions later on. Research titled, Liver Recovery Difficult Even With Improved Diet, But Faster If Sugar Intake Is Low. Yes, the sugar plays a huge part in this. Second, citation titled, even though it's fairly simple and it's published on the Public Library of Science online this 13th of January 2016. Citation title is as follows. Is Western Diet Induced Non-Alcoholic Steatohepatitis in Mice Reversible? Well, the obvious the, the answer to that is yes, as I already preluded. But to begin, such scarring was once thought to be irreversible. But more recent research has shown it can be at least partially reversed with optimal diet when the stimulus for liver injury is removed. The stimulus in this case, believe it or not, is your typical Western diet. Let us proceed. Mice fed, WD, standing for Western Diet, for 20 to 24 weeks developed robust uh, hepatosteatosis with mild fibrosis. While mice maintained on the Western Diet an additional seven to eight weeks developed NASH, otherwise known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis with moderate fibrosis. Now keep in mind, this is just doing nothing, not chemically inducing injury or anything like that. This is just the typical Western diet. There's a chart I really want to show you coming up real soon here too. Now let us go forward. The study was done with laboratory animals showed that diets low in fat and cholesterol could in fact aid with weight loss, improve metabolism and health, but even when the diet was still high in sugar, there was much less liver recovery, the science concluded. The reason being is a lot of low fat uh, foods are actually higher in sugar. Well, it turns out that sugar pretty much is the key to the whole thing. Now, look at this chart. Then you can get an idea. Now, NP just basically stands for standard lab child they feed, you know, the rats or the mice or lab animals. The WD obviously is the Western diet. Now remember, they were fed the Western diet for about 22 to 24 weeks, you know, some a little longer, seven to eight weeks. All of you, I'm gonna tell you to keep it simple, is that red bar down the middle of those mice eating the Western diet, that's not good. And of course, if you look at the, the, the bar following that, that's when they try to return back to their typical lab child diet. Move forward. Many people eating a common American diet are developing extensive hepatic fibrosis or scarring of the liver. We're not talking genetic. We're not talking, oh, this is just something that's gonna happen because of family lineage. We're talking people just eating stuff that people eat every day here in the United States, which can reduce its capacity to function and sometimes lead to cancer. Yes, scars in the liver are obviously not helpful. Now, look at the next chart here. All right, again, you look at the basically the graph, I mean, the, the, you know, the photos, you can see improvement. Actually, it looks quite dramatic improvement when they go back to the low sugar lab chow which is uh, basically just a, a non-processed food as compared to that uh, Western diet. And you can see the recovery is possible. This is only one of the many charts. But to conclude, there's a lot of interest in finding ways to help the liver recover from this damage, but this research suggests that diets lower in fat and cholesterol, even if they help you lose weight, are not enough. For more significant liver recovery, the intake of sugar has to come down probably along with other improvements in the diet and exercise. So if you see an individual or you know of an individual or your medical professional and they're suffering from basically Western diet induced uh, liver disease, in order to reverse it, which they show can happen to some extent, the best route to do that appears to be cutting the sugar out of the diet, at least as a first step. Again, this is Ralph Turciano. Thank you very much for listening once again. And citations are listed below so you always can follow the information on your own too. I'll catch you next week. Thank you.